All right guys, Armando Science here and in this video I'm going to show you how to run an evergreen webinar or an automated webinar using Kajabi and EverWebinar. This is integrating both pieces together and it's for those who need more advanced features like the uh, like the Ever, uh, Ever Webinar light box that pops up that actually has the date and times for people to register and the instant replays and that sort of thing. Now, if you haven't seen the last two videos that I created, the method number one of running Kajabi's Evergreen Webinar, which is the easiest form, there's a link in the description, and there's also a link for video two that provides a little bit more of advanced features. But this method here is possibly the most advanced because it, it has full integration with um, webinar jam. Um, the other thing that's in the description, if you're new to Kajabi, go ahead and I included a link to their 28 day challenge that gives you access to the full Kajabi platform for 28 days along with a step by step tutorial that they give you and a course on how to launch your first product and make your first thousand bucks uh, using Kajabi. Now, before we get started, I always like to show you what the end result is going to look like and then work backwards so you know if this is going to be the right video for you. So here I am inside of Kajabi and I've got a basic registration page, this basic basic landing page. And what I have here is a, is a button that registers people for the class. So when you click it, you see that now you have the Ever Webinar registration form. And what you can do here is select the time that your session starts. Um, you can even enter your information in here. I'm just going to enter info at sciencedigital.com so we can see how this all works. You're then taken to the thank you page that is part of EverWebinar and not part of Kajabi. Okay, so at this point, EverWebinar is taking over. Um, you know, handling the meeting requests and sending out the emails that, that you normally would, would send out. If you've ever registered for an Evergreen webinar using uh, Webinar Jam, you know what I'm talking about. It sends a series of two emails reminding people that it's about to start. At this point, you'll get your emails or people will be here and they can click on your training link and it'll take you to the waiting room um, for Ever Webinar, which looks something like this or whichever way you want to set it up. Uh, ass. Now, when the timer hits zero, you're going to immediately be taken into the webinar jam or the ever webinar platforms meeting room where the video will start to stream. And here you are, you know, your, your webinar starting. So this is how you integrate Kajabi with ever webinar so that it works uh, the way you want it to work with the, with the light box and everything. Now, I'm going to show you what I did to make this happen. We're going to start with the marketing section, and you want to be under pipelines. What you want to do is, again, click New Pipeline, and I prefer to use the template or the pipeline that already is built for webinar. Uh, even though we don't use all the pages, because later on you might decide you want to use those pages, and it's got the email sequences built into it. So I'm going to start with this one here. Um, and I'm going to create pipeline and I'm going to late label this um, demo ever webinar okay method three I'm not gonna worry about any of this stuff because like I said ever webinar will handle the event details so I'm just going to generate pipeline Okay, once the pipeline is built, you are here in the section where you can edit each, each individual page. And we want to edit the registration page in order to make this happen. What you want to do is you want to add a section on here that is custom code. So basically, you have these different sections in, 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 inside of Kajabi. You have the, the header, you have the events, which is this here. You've got features, which are these three items here, text right down here and then you have a call to action which is down here the section that you want to add to make this possible is called a custom content section you want to click on that and you want to add it what you then want to do inside the custom section is you want to add content and you want to select custom code this is going to give you a custom code section where you can actually place HTML code in there. Then 
once you have everything set up in ever webinar you're just gonna head over to your ever webinar platform or your webinar jam whichever one you're using um, and you're going to select the webinar that you want to integrate with that specific pipe so what you do here is for example I want to integrate this one this is our example I'm gonna click on your links and now I'm going to choose the option that says embed the registration box on your website and it's gonna generate a piece of code you want to copy and paste that piece of code you then want to come back to Kajabi and in the code section you want to paste that and voila there's the button right there now it looks ugly right it looks ugly because what we really want is we want it to look like this and I'm gonna show you how to make it look like that right now so the very first thing that we are going to do is we want to make sure that this is on its separate block that centers it and puts it right above this which is where our content is now if we don't want to reinvent the wheel which I don't like to I'm gonna to come to the top section and I'm just literally going to copy everything that's in here in this section and then I'm gonna scroll down here and I'm going to paste that right there and now it's gonna look something like this but it still looks a little weird because the tightness of it all so what we still want to do is if you want to make it a little bit wider you want to change the container width of this text to something that's a little wider maybe right uh, also this one here want to change the container width to something that's a little bit wider or more if you want to uh, that looks good to me and I'm going to just save that and leave it alone now I want to move it to the top so I'm gonna click the back button so that I can go all the way back to where all my sections are and I'm just gonna drag and drop this right there and then this event section well I don't need it anymore so what I want to do is just hide it in case I need it later and just like that you click Save and you have integrated or added the webinar jam feature of the light box along with the schedules into Kajabi now let's take a look at what happens when you know when you on the front end what it looks like you it looks like something like this and then you click register and your light box shows up and people follow the same process that you just saw a few minutes ago okay awesome now now we're going to take this a step further you can stop right here and in fact many people may stop right here and say this is great this is what I was looking for thank you and if that's you give me a thumbs up like this channel I'm trying to grow it um, and if you've got questions leave a comment in the uh, you know leave a leave a question in the comments and I'll be sure to answer it uh, for you but from now on from this point for forward we're moving into something that's a little bit more advanced because when you register here you get taken to the standard webinar jam thank you page but maybe you don't want that maybe what you want is instead of going to the standard webinar jam thank you page you want to go to your custom confirmation page inside of Kajabi and you may want to do this if you want more control because there are times where you want to just control this page maybe you want to add a video maybe you want to add some more text maybe you want to add a download and a bunch of other things maybe you want to brand it a certain way and unfortunately webinar jam does not allow you to brand this page the th their thank you page to your brand standards so if you want to do this I'm gonna show you how to use a simple redirect inside of ever webinar to only use their light box then get people back to your thank you page and then on to um, to view the webinar afterwards so here here we go okay using a simple JavaScript redirect tool can get us away from the standard or the default webinar jam registration page and back into Kajabi's awesomeness where you can have total control of the thank you page and you know you can set it up according to your brand standards and everything else and the tool that we're gonna use is is this one it's called uh, insider.zone Java Java redirect I left the link to this tool in the description as well so you can go ahead and check it out but here's how this works you're going to go to Kajabi 
and you're going to select the thank you page from your pipeline. Okay, we're going to go ahead and preview that thank you page. All right, and you want to you want to grab everything below the preview, right? You want to grab the link that goes to this page right here to the, to your thank you page. You then want to come to this JavaScript redirect tool and you want to paste it in here and you want to click this button that says generate redirect code. And that's going to give you this long piece of Java JavaScript code. So what you want to do here is you want to select this and copy it. Then we want to go to ever webinar and we want to edit the webinar that you're integrating with Kajabi. So you want to click on edit. And once you do that, you want to come to integration. So click on integrations and you're going to have three options in here. The option that you want to edit is the integrate a third party tracking system. You want to click the pencil. And you're going to have a bunch of options because this is where you add Google Tag Manager. This is where you add your uh, Facebook Pixel and a bunch of different tools that you want to add in here. What you want to select is the post registration thank you page. You want to click in here and you want to paste that code in there. Once you've done that, you just want to confirm that you want to save that and then that is it. Now, here's what's going to happen. Here's what's going to happen from now on that you've added this code every time somebody registers to your webinar. So the very first thing that's going to happen, there's going to come they're going to come to your thank to your landing page. Click registration. This is the webinar jam info, right? Or the ever webinar. They're going to enter their information, but instead of being redirected to the thank you page here, they're going to be sent to your Kajabi thank you page where you can control the entire look and feel and your branding and everything else. Okay? So you can stop right here if your goal was to make sure that you wanted to integrate the Kajabi system with ever webinars light box that gives you all those options and get to the thank you page however we're going to take this even one step further right now in that we want to somehow tie the emails that get sent to ever webinar because as it stands right now when somebody goes to your kajabi landing page they click that webinar jam light box all those emails are being sent to ever webinar and they're not in your kajabi if you've got an autoresponder outside of kajabi that's totally cool you can integrate that with active campaign however you want but if you are using kajabi as your email provider as well to manage your emails i'm going to show you how to do that and for this you're going to need an application called Zapier. Unfortunately, EverWebinar does not speak to Kajabi directly. But using Zapier, it's super easy to do. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, here we are in the dashboard of Zapier. And Zapier, if you don't already know, it's sort of the glue of the Internet. It is a third-party service that connects literally almost every application that exists on the internet with another so it can do really cool things and what we want this to do is we want to add all the people that register to whatever webinar somehow into our kajabi um, subscribers list and here's how we do that so we want to create a zap we want to make a zap and the very first thing that you want to do is choose webinar jam now these apps show up here because i've already connected it to Zapier, but if you've never connected it to Zapier, you're going to just choose, you're going to just Google here, or I said Google, you're going to search for Webinar Jam from the list, and you're going to connect that here, like this. And then it's going to ask you what the trigger is. Now, every time somebody registers, every time there is a new registration, now you can also set new attendee. You can also just add people who attend live to your ever webinar. To Kajabi if you wanted to do that or the people who miss who missed the webinar but for me I like to add everyone who is who registered for an ever webinar I want to click continue and then I want to just continue to that and then I want to tell it which webinar registration I want I want to pick from so basically all the new people that register to my um, how to become the go-to agent um, 
automated webinar, I want now to connect or to send or feed that data to Kajabi. Now, that was step number one. We set up a trigger, which is any new person that registers to a specific webinar in every webinar, I want you to capture that data. Then I want you to send it to Kajabi. And I pick Kajabi from the list and I want to say create a form submission. Continue. Continue again. And I want to add my Kajabi site. And then I want to pick from whatever form that I've got. Okay. So maybe I've got a you know, form that has got agent registrations and that sort of stuff. Now, whenever you create a Kajabi pipeline, it also creates a registration form for you. So if you notice in here, I've got the demo method three, and I want to add people to that one, for example. And then I can add the name. Okay. I can add the email. And I can just continue. And now my zap is complete. I'm going to skip this for now. Finish it. And I'm going to label it. I'm going to say ever webinar to Kajabi. And I'm going to turn that on. So now what's going to happen is that every time somebody registers on my Kajabi page using the EverWebinar integration, not only are they going to see the thank you page that is inside my Kajabi, but I all also immediately be added to Kajabi as a subscriber, as well as EverWebinar, and the entire flow, the entire sequence is, is seamless there, okay? If you wanna test this out, let's, let's take a look at how this works. So here I am, I'm going to register with a completely new email address so that We'll see if this works. Click register, pick a date, pick a time, leave my name alone. I'm going to just say, um, I get redirected to the thank you page. And now I should have that email as a subscriber inside Webinar Jam and inside of Kajabi. Let's check to see if it worked inside of EverWebinar. So I'm gonna go to analytics, I'm gonna choose my webinar, I'm gonna say all sessions. I'm gonna click go. And then I'm going to look at attendees. And there is the new registration uh, for me, okay? Now, now I'm gonna check to see if it added it to Kajabi, if the zap went through. Okay, so here I am inside of Kajabi. I'm gonna click on the people's tab on the left-hand side and I'm just gonna look to see if that went through. Yeah, there it is right there. So everything was seamless. We we created a page with Kajabi, we integrated with Webinar Jam, we captured the registrations through Webinar Jam, we sent people to our Kajabi thank you page, and then instantly got added to both our Kajabi um, mailing list and our Webinar Jam uh, registration uh, piece of it. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and like this channel. Every single tool that I use in here has got a link in the description. Also, again, there's a link to Kajabi's 28-day challenge. It gives you 28 days for free, no obligation, so you can try the platform and mess around with it and get your first 1000 bucks, along with all the other tools that are, that are linked in here. If you've got any questions at all, leave them in the comments, and thank you for watching.